Everyday Heroes. Brought to you by Hendrick Auto Group. The word cancer would stop most people in their tracks, not Tommy Hayes Abbott. He found out he had cancer while he was playing golf, but he finished his round anyway. Tommy Hayes Abbott was a hero to his brother-in-law. Shane Morris told us that Hayes Abbott taught him the answer to the big question in running is the same as the answer to the big questions in life. Make the most of every mile. Mile after mile after concrete crushing mile. 51-year-old Shane Morris is a trailblazer. Running back and forth from Mount Pleasant to Charleston, then back again across the Ravenel Bridge until he reaches the century mark. 100 miles to honor a man whose journey ended far too soon. In tribute to my brother-in-law who passed away from uh, lung cancer just this past January. Morris remembers when he first realized his brother-in-law, Tommy Hayes Abbott, was sick. We were on the treadmill together, we did an eight-mile run on a Sunday morning. Abbott had been coughing a lot. He said, I'm, I, I've been coughing up blood. I'm like, Tommy, you need to go to the doctor and get an x-ray. You need to have that check. You probably have a lung infection. Tommy Hayes Abbott vowed that a diagnosis of cancer would neither interrupt his life nor his game. When he found out he had cancer. He was actually on the golf course playing 18 holes. He called my wife um, from the golf course after the doctor had called him, and he, uh, he, said, his, he said, I'll beat it and I got to go because I got to finish my round. <laughs> Lung cancer, stage four. I'm thinking about him a lot. Two years after diagnosis, the husband, father, athlete who ran, played golf, basketball, and tennis regularly passed away. I think about Tommy, but I also think about what, um, how cancer really impacts everybody. I know of probably a half a dozen people who could come out and crush what I'm attempting to do today. But this race is not about distance. It's about the miles that his brother-in-law did not get to travel because of a cruel disease. What he, he would do is, if he was here, he'd say, I'll come do it with you. Somehow I think that Abbott Hayes was right there with him the entire time. Shane Morris surpassed his goal of 100 miles. When he finished, he actually trekked 106 miles. He also has surpassed his fundraising goal of $1,000. Right now, the GoFundMe page has raised more than $3,000. We certainly congratulate him and wish his family the best. If you know of an everyday hero, we'd like to hear about that person. Just send us an email to countonto.com.